In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing a rational function, quadratic over linear. We're given our function f of x. In the numerator, we have our quadratic, and in the denominator, a linear function. And we're asked to graph it by first drawing the asymptotes, and then plotting two points on each side of the graph. Starting with our vertical asymptotes, we should first simplify as much as possible. And to do so, I could attempt to factor this numerator and see if any of those factors cancel with the denominator. In this case, nothing will cancel. So this expression is simplified as much as possible. And then for our vertical asymptote, it will occur where the denominator equals zero, our denominator being x plus three, if we set that equal to zero and solve for x by subtracting the three over to the right hand side we have x equals negative three so our vertical asymptote will be the line x equals negative three moving to our horizontal asymptote we are looking for n and m where n is the degree of the numerator so here the degree of the numerator is 2, and m, which is the degree of the denominator, here the degree of the denominator is 1. And since n is greater than m, we will not have a horizontal asymptote. However, the degree of the numerator is exactly 1 more than the degree of the denominator. So we will have a slant asymptote. We're going to do long division and omit the remainder. So setting up long division, we have x plus 3 in the denominator, negative 2x squared minus 8x minus 2 in the numerator. So for long division, we would start with the leading term underneath negative 2x squared over the leading term outside, which is just an x. This would simplify to negative 2x. So that's our first term. When we multiply negative 2x times x, we get our negative 2x squared. When we multiply the negative 2x times 3, we get a negative 6x. And when we change these signs to add, the first terms cancel as intended. For the second term, negative 8x plus 6x is a negative 2x. Bring down the next term. And again, we divide leading coefficients, negative 2x over x. This time gives us a negative 2. So our second piece here is negative 2. Doing our multiplication this time, negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. Negative 2 times 3 is a negative 6. Change our signs to add. Gives us a remainder this time of 4. But we are omitting the remainder. Our slant asymptote is y equals negative 2x minus 2, which has a y-intercept of negative 2 and a slope of down 2 over 1. Having found all of our asymptotes, we now move on to plotting two points on the left and right of that vertical asymptote. My first point I'll plug in to the left. I'll use x equals negative 4. Replacing our x's with negative 4, we have negative 2 times x squared. Negative 4 squared is a positive 16 minus 8 times negative 4 minus 2 in the numerator over negative 4 plus 3 in the denominator. Simplifying, we have negative 32. And then negative 8 times negative 4 is a positive 32 minus 2 over negative 1. So the numerator is negative 2. The denominator is negative 1. Our coordinate when we plug in a negative 4 is 2. So I can graph that. And then one more point on the left hand side, I'll plug in negative 5. Replacing x's with negative 5. Negative 5 squared is 25. Replacing the other x's with negative 5. We can simplify now. Negative 2 times 25 is negative 50. Negative 8 times negative 5 is a positive 40 minus 2 over negative 2 in the denominator. 
The numerator then simplifies to negative 12 over negative 2. So a positive 6 is our coordinate. Negative 5, 6 gives us the shape of the graph as it approaches those asymptotes. On the right hand side of the asymptote, I can plug in a negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. Replacing the other x's with negative 2. We can simplify the numerator. Negative 2 times 4 is a negative 8. Negative 8 times 2 is a positive 16. Minus 2 and our denominator is 1. The numerator simplifies further to 6 over 1. So a positive 6. Our coordinate is negative 2, 6. Negative 2, 6 would be here. One more point to the right, I'll use negative 1. Negative 1 squared is a positive 1, replacing the x's with negative 1. Simplifying the numerator, we have negative 2 plus 8 minus 2 over 2 in the denominator. So 4 over 2, which is 2. So our point is negative 1, 2. Negative 1, 2 would be here. Again, approaching these asymptotes, we would have this sort of shape. So we have graphed this expression.